Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to add a tooltip over any widget, say for example, web view in your Android app. So let's begin. We we'll create a new project. Wait for the environment. No, uh, empty project and tooltip on widgets. And I leave the rest of the things as it is. Click finish and wait for my environment to load. It may take a while. Perfect, my environment has loaded up. So before I do anything, I'll do one thing. I'll also start uh, this app in an emulator so that emulator can load up in parallel. And uh, also I'll uh, keep on doing my job. So uh, let me complete the uh, layout. Okay, before that, I'll do quickly one thing. I'll just add that required permission in the manifest file because we'll be trying out with this uh, web view. So web view may need the permission for internet so we may have to define that uh, in the yeah in the manifest file yeah this is what i was expecting i think my uh, emulator is also loading up in parallel on the emulator tab so let it come up and i think this is done so i can minimize this part i can go to the uh, no layout first and over here what I can do is, is I'll just quickly put something like um, probably I can just move it up this text will the default one what we get and uh, I can do is I can put a uh, web view is what we thought of yeah so here it is if I put it here perfect I can resize it according to my needs so <clears throat> yeah and then I'll give the required constraints and I can give it some ID probably say for example web view yeah perfect that's it and then I'll go to the Java code let the emulator come by I'll just make it a bit smaller here yeah and I'll do one thing I'll just quickly define class variables for this uh, widget so that's web view you can keep it as separate name also not, not required to keep the name exactly same but it helps in a long um, code to associate which is what no, not text view I think it was a view yeah we can do it with text view also probably we'll do it later and then probably I can do something is load URL this is just to show like yeah we can start something like I will load my website programmer programmer world.co you can open anything that doesn't matter and what else yeah no i can do is view dot set tooltip text and here we can give anything so this is programmer world website okay and i think that's all if we rerun let's quickly see how it comes up and i think this spelling seems to be correct yeah programmer world yeah so let's give it a moment for it to load up. Yeah, so my application is coming up and I think so what will happen is set tooltip text. So whenever I hover over the widget or click on that, that is the time I'll be able to uh, yeah, see this text this tooltip text so let's see so my website has loaded up so say for example if I click here or anywhere on the video say for example if I'm clicking here so yeah perfect so if you see that tooltip text is visible here so yeah you can click it anywhere so say for example yeah here if I click then also yeah so Basically, this tooltip text is on this web view. Anyway, on the web view, if we uh, hover or if we uh, click, it will show the text, whatever we have set over here. Uh, perfect. Now, so that's all. But I think uh, what we can do is we can also quickly show how to do that same thing on this text view. So we have one more widget here. Uh, if I go to the layout text view, we can quickly do that on this also. So the ID is already given. So let me go into the Java code. Here I will not create a class variable. I will do it directly over here. So let me just create a text view class, no, the local variable and find. I'll keep it very short. I'll quickly do it. Perfect.
perfect and then i'll do text view dot set tooltip text and i can put anything like so this is tool tip example yeah and let me rerun and yeah, let the app load up perfect load, load app has come up so if i click now over this text view also i can see this whatever it was there this is tooltip example is appearing there yeah so and if i come to the uh, web view of course the previous tooltip is still working so that's so, uh, all i just wanted to show you it's very easy you can do it on any widget text view image view edit text whatsoever yeah so it helps to give some kind of pointers but it's rarely used i've seen in the actual apps it's rarely used however this is one of the ways where you can give some kind of pointers or hints or suggestions to the user of your layout so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye